Worcester, two boaters went overboard into the waters of Lake Quinsigamon this evening, triggering an all-out search. Now, within the past 30 minutes, authorities have confirmed that at least one of those victims has been found dead, recovered by police divers. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. The accident happened in the middle of that popular lake, right on the Worcester Shrewsbury line, in plain view of quite a few folks enjoying a day at the beach. As darkness fell on Lake Quinsigamon, searchers were still working the main channel near the Route 9 bridge, hoping for a miracle. We're watching this, you know, everyone's out here trying to rescue someone and their family's probably just at home, like, thinking it's just a normal day, not even knowing that their loved one is out here. It was just before 6 o'clock this evening when folks enjoying the beach at Quinsigamon State Park spotted a motorboat driving a bit erratically. This was a single boat that lost control and um, the the two individuals we, we believe were flipped outside of the boat. At first, witnesses thought the two men would be able to swim back to the vessel. The boat continued to um, go off with the current, and they were obviously not able to like um, get on it. So some beachgoers started yelling for help, while others called 911, saying neither man was wearing a life jacket. An environmental police boat was the first to arrive and pluck one of the men from the water, but the other had gone under. And as the minutes turned to hours, a hush fell over the shoreline. It's a quiet scene. Everyone's like in silence, just thinking, hoping for the best for the individual. As the sun set and bad weather approached, searchers stuck with it, but admitted their effort was very likely a recovery mission, not a rescue. Massachusetts Environmental Police are scanning the lake with sonar technology to see if they can identify a point where they can identify an individual in the water still. Again, that victim's body was just recovered by state police divers. We still don't know the fate of the man pulled from the water much earlier this evening.